landmines on the road, despite said promises of free access to Garajda. And the first sight of this Muslim enclave, cut off from the outside world for nearly four years, shows the ravages of frontline fighting. Nearly 60,000 people live here, crammed into the sturdier buildings. Many are refugees from nearby villages. All have stories to tell. This woman lost her husband, son and daughter-in-law. Now she says she has seven orphaned grandchildren to look after. And winter is closing in. Sparse crops won't sustain the inhabitants for long, and the Bosnian government is threatening to delay peace talks unless convoys are given free access. But the ingenuity of the locals means they're not totally without comfort. These makeshift generators provide about 400 watts, just enough power for some lighting and occasionally television. But heat is going to be the big problem in the coming months, and wood is being stockpiled by inhabitants unwilling to rely on the flickering flame of peace.